Hi YouTubers and gamers and I'm back for a final leg or part 4 of my PS3 collection. Uh, thanks everyone for watching and above to now but uh, uh, your patience will be rewarded I hope and uh, let's go through the last lot of that games. We're on S and the S is for Sacred 3. There was a, a Sacred 2 which I haven't got yet. Quite an uncommon game. Then a Saints Row 2, a classic. Original Saints Row was um, exclusive to Xbox 360, I believe. And then Saints Row a third. And then Saints Row 4. And obviously there's another one on the PS4. And then there's um, a... It looks... This, the artwork of this reminds me of Daft Punk and it's Saint Saya or Sire Sanctuary Battle. So it's, um, yeah, it's, it's very much old fashioned anime type style, which I think reminds me a lot of Daft Punk because they're into anime. Okay, a couple of Konami games Saw and Saw 2, and they're supposed to be quite good, although saying that, I'm, I'm not particularly a fan of the movies, I'm not into those sort of. Sort of torture horror movies, I prefer ones with a good storyline, a bit like the old zombie movies or alien movies and sci-fi horror, but myself really. Um, okay, some more SB, uh, Superbike games, Superbike 08, again 2008. Okay, and this is one probably one of the best combinations you can get for the PS3, and that is the Sega Mega Drive collection. Tons of classic Mega Drive games. And there's Sega Rally, Sega Rally Classic, Sega Superstar Tennis, lots of fun there. Okay, this is an uncommon game on by Capcom. Um, it's not too expensive, but you don't see it much in the shops. And um, it is Sengoku Bazaar Samurai Heroes. Yeah, I think it's a bit of a crazy type Dynasty Warriors inspired type game. It's Capcom, got to have it. And then, uh, again, this game's by um, Suda51, I believe. Uh, Shadow of the Damned. Oh, I got to, another one I got to play. Excuse me, it's the phone. Sorry about that, it was a pesky mother in law phoning. Anyway, more games. Um, Sean White skateboarding and Sean White snowboarding. I've not played those, although the yeah, SSX game on the PS3, which I will be showing soon, I believe, is first class. That's much. That's really good fun. But I'm not sure about these Sean White ones. Um, another sort of war type horror game, Shell Shock 2: Blood Trails. Uh, by Rebellion and Eidos. Looks interesting. Okay, this is a uh, another suit of 51, yep. Yeah. And this is short piece Renko Tsumi Kazuka Gimi Longest Day. We butchered that, didn't I? Well anyway, that's the game. I do like Suda 51. Okay, and uh, then there's Sid Meier's Civilization Revolution. I never played a, um, a Civilization game. Um, so, if I ever get time. Okay, there was about three games from the off of Silent Hill that came out on the system Silent Hill Homecoming, Downpour, which I think was the last one. Probably the last ever game, really. And uh, Silent Hill Collection, HD Collection. Um, this was one of the poor of the classic HD ones. A lot of the, there's been a lot of criticism towards some of the, the, the what they did to some of the games. So you're probably better off playing the originals than this HD collection, from what I've read. Okay, um, some Sing Star games. I, I you know, bit of, you know, love Sing Star on PS2. You know, I can't sing, but that's no point. You might as well have a bit. As long as you have a bit of fun, it doesn't matter if you don't sound any good. 
Singstar, Singstar, I think. Yes, or Singstall. No, Singstar, Singstall. That's the first one. Then Singstar, Singstall, Volume Two, and Volume Three. And there's one for Abba. And I do believe my wife's got to take that upstairs as well, I believe. Uh, Sing Star Cream. Sing Star Dance. And last but not least, Guitar. Apparently there's, there's quite a few variants of those all across the world according to which uh, country you're from really. So. If you want to get a complete collection of Sing Star games, yeah, I think you'll that'd be quite a challenge. Okay, um, Activision game Singularity. Again, I think it's got mixed reviews. I think if you like Metro, you'll probably like this. Okay, um, another Japanese horror movie. But, um, based on a series of Siren games, which I think were originally on PS2, and then the Siren Blood Curse. Sleeping Dog Limited Edition. I've also got a definitive edition of this on the PS4, I believe. Alright, uh, Sly Cooper, Thieves and Time. Oh, excuse me, uh, yeah, uh, there's another Sly Cooper game, I think, a trilogy or whatever, which I've got to get. We're not seeing it for a good price. Sniper Elite V2, the original Sniper Elite, I think, it was on the PS2, and Sniper Elite 3. It's supposed to be very good. Oh, a bit of the old SOCOM games. This is a an online multiplayer version, I think this one is. And so again, I've got it for a collection more than anything else, really. And then Special Forces. This one's PlayStation Move compatible, so... A bit hit and miss, really. Uh, Soldier of Fortune Payback, another Activision game. Okay, um, there's another version of this, which I've got to get. But this is a limited edition on Sonic All Star Racing Transformed. I think there's original racing one as well. They're very good. Okay, another move game, um, Sorcery. And then the classic Soul Calibur 4, which has some Star Wars characters. Uh, you either have a guy out of uh, Star Wars Force Unleashed or you have Darth Vader, or you have Yoda. And depending on which version of the game, there's a couple of steel books. There's a Darth Vader one for the PS3, and there was a Yoda one for the Xbox 360, so that's a 360 case. And uh, this was just a, a demo disc I picked up. Okay, um, a classic South Park South Park RPG, and that's the Stick of Truth. And some special Spec Ops, the Line. Okay, um, Splatterhouse. Um, what's good about this version of Splatterhouse is I think once you complete the game, you also get the the Mega Drive and Genesis version of that house 2 and 3 I think it is um, or was it 1 and 2, I can't remember the numbers now but you get some of the Mega Drive games on here as well you do, so it's good to have and then there's uh, Spider-Man the movie three. Uh, the first two Spider-Man games were very good from the movies on a PS2, but this one is a bit oh, not that great to be honest. It's okay. And then some other Spider Man games Spider Man Edge of Time and Shattered Dimension. Another Disney game, um, 
split second velocity, published by Disney. Um, well, I'm not sure how many SpongeBob SquarePants games came out on the PS2. Quite a few, I mean PS3, I should say. There was tons on the PS2, but on the PS3, I know this one came out. I don't know if that's the only one or not. Do you like the old SpongeBob? And then there's SSX. Uh, this game is great on whatever system you get, PS2, and also the PS3 versions. Lots of fun. Caitlin and I like that. Yep. <laughs> then there's Starhawk, which is again, I think, a, I'm not sure. No, I think this is toy mode. I don't think it's just an online one, this one. And there's Star Ocean, we're last. Last Hope International. I think, this is, I think it's a few Star Ocean games also got to get on the PS2. And then the Star Trek, the movie, um, not a particularly good game, but it is Star Trek. And Star Wars, okay, so we've got Star Wars, The Clone Wars, Republic Heroes. Um, Star Wars, The Clone Wars by um, Cartoon Network was first class. The TV series is really good. If you get ever to get a chance to pick up the DVDs, get those. They are really good anima uh, animation. Uh, these ones, but obviously based on the, Star, the Clone Wars TV series and stuff that came out years after the Net Cartoon Network version, um, it's not as good. It's more for kids, whereas the, uh, the Cartoon Network one is done by the same guy who did Samurai Jack, and that's pretty damn good. But anyway, it's um, this game is supposed to be okay. It is a Lucas Arts game, so not you know getting why they existed. Then another one, LucasArts, Star Wars The Force Unleashed. This is for standalone edition. And then there was the Ultimate, Ultimate Sith edition, which has got a bit of DLC. And then the Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2, and this edition comes with a special bonus comic book. Yes, we? Yeah, you know where they are, off you go. And then there was a uh, one limited edition to get in here. This is Star Wars Force Unleashed 2, which comes with a special USB uh, memory stick. And then there's Steins Gate based on the anime. Um, I talked about this in an earlier pickup video. Storm Rise. Then the old Street Fighter. So we've got Street Fighter 4, so we've got a cardboard gatefold, sl gatefold sleeve, as unusual. Then street, Super Street Fighter 4, and then Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. And I think there's also an Ultimate Super Street Fighter 4 or something as well, which I've got to get one more. And then there's Stuntman Ignition. The Stuntman games were on the PS2 and they are quite good. Okay, Superstar Racing V8. I think I picked it up because it was just cheap, that one. And then um, Superstar, Superstar Racing Next Challenge, V8 Next Challenge. Okay, then there's the EA Games Syndicate. I'm not sure that's any good or not. Um, I've got a few limited editions of the Tekken games, but this is a standalone copy of Tekken 6. And it's Nickelodeon Nick Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Danger of the Use. Got to collect the, the old turtle games. And also you've got to collect the Terminator games in my opinion. This is Terminator Salvation based on the movie. It's not the worst Terminator game out there, it's not the best by any means either, but it's okay. Okay, um, another PC game that got ported to most systems. Um, 
Terraria, or what is that you pronounce it? Terraria, that's probably a better bear. Terraria. Um, we've got to give this a go. We play your Minecraft, and maybe Kate and I have to go at this. Do you think you like that? No, okay. <laughs> I don't think she liked her eyeball on it. Okay, then there's The Amazing Spider Man based on the movie. And then The Adventures of Tintin, um, obviously based on the Spielberg movie. It's supposed to be okay this game. And then another XCOM game, but this is the Bureau. Okay, Chronicles of Riddick, there was one on Xbox which is a classic and then they sort of slightly updated it, um, well that's Escape from Butcher's Bay wasn't it, and then they bought it on the PS3. Another Sega game, The Club. Got about um, the old Elder Scrolls 4 Bolivian. And Elder Scrolls 5, the legendary edition. So phone again, I wonder who it is this time. Sorry about that, another interruption. This time it was a wife. Anyway, more games. Uh, the Elder Scroll 4 Oblivion. This is a 5th anniversary edition. So I should have had that next to that other, I believe, in the standard edition. Okay. And also got Skyrim, other limited editions, like the ones in bigger boxes and the giant one that comes with the, the dragon statue thing. Anyway, uh, okay, another move game. Again, this is not particularly good, but it does have uh, the guy out of, um, what's his name, Danny something. Um, Oh, we, oh, I can't remember his surname now. But he's 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 a cool dude. He was in the um, well, Machete movies. You probably know who I mean. But this is a fight, and it's got that guy Danny something. And I can't remember his surname. It's not particularly a good film. The game. Uh, then there's The Godfather Two. I've got the first one on the PS2, and the. Did it come out on the PC? The first one, I don't know. Okay, uh, Sega movie tie-in. I only got it because it was cheap and it's Sega, uh, The Golden Compass. I don't think I'll ever bother playing it. But too mad on the films. A bit disappointed with the films, to be honest. Really. No wonder I didn't make any more. Okay. Alright, this is a classic Sega game. Um, came out on a Wii originally. That's superb. And this one's for superb as well for PlayStation Move. And it's House of the Dead Overkill. Um, you got to do this, do some grinding on here because you've got to up, um, build up enough money or whatever to upgrade your gun so you can go on to the next levels. Uh, but it's still loads of fun. It really is um, definitely worth picking up if you like your light gun shooters. Then there is the Hulk, the Incredible Hulk, based on the, the second movie. And then there's the Kino Fighters game. So it's Kino Fighters 12 and Kino Fighters 13 Deluxe Edition. Or well, the one edition that came out, so they're all deluxe. I think it comes with a bonus uh, removable sl sleeve, poster, and art CD that comes with. Okay. One, uh, there was one Legend of Spyro game I actually got onto a PS3. Um, I believe you can get this also on a PS2 and also a Wii. But this PS3 version is um, quite desirable and quite expensive. It's by Sierra and it is with Spyro Dragon, or Dawn of a, Dawn of, of a Dragon. Um, so if you ever see that, do pick it up. It's not a cheap game. Okay, some Lord of the Rings games. Uh, EA, Conquest. I played all the Lord of the Rings games on the PS2 and I really liked them. But I haven't got around to playing any of the PS3 ones. Uh, Aragorn's Crest. I quite enjoy the PSP games as well, even though they're more, um, more strategy than anything else. 
And then there's Lord of the Rings Warner North. Um, this is a still book edition. Also one that comes with a statue of a um, cave troll, I think. Okay, then there's the orange box, which obviously has Half-Life 2, Portal, and Team Fortress 2 on it. So yeah, classic games. And then there's the Saboteur, um, EA game. Again, a bit of a stealthy type game, but it's supposed to be quite good actually. Okay, another move game. It was okay. I, I played it a bit, but I, I, I you know, just for about an, an hour. I didn't get too far into it, but it's okay. If you see it for next to nothing, it's worth having. Uh, the shoot. You know, it's not a best shoot by any means, but it's okay. All right. Um, the Simpsons game. I played all the Simpsons games on the PS2, but I've not got around to playing this yet. I must do. And then there's uh, another. Uh, Sherlock Holmes game. Now I say another. Um, got the people who produce these focus. They also done quite a few for uh, DS and also Wii, I believe. But this is a testament of Sherlock Holmes, and um, yeah, He's, I, I guess it plays a bit like a, a, a sort of a, I don't know, sort of a mystery detective type RPG maybe type game. But the graphics they look really good actually, and the reviews are okay. Okay, turning to The Walking Dead by Telltale Games. This is the Best Buy exclusive edition from the um, from States and TSC. It's got a little special um, alternative cover and also a little mini poster it comes with. That's all sealed. Uh, also have a standalone edition which I've loaned to a friend, but I've also got this Game of the Year edition which, ha which has the the DLC included on the disc before Fallen Up Days DLC, which is definitely worth having. So this is a one you want to get on the PS3. It's also a Monty box set edition that came to the States that includes the Walking Dead art book, which I've got to get at some point when I've got some funds and I can afford pay for the import and the postage because it's quite heavy, so it's not going to be cheap to get from the States. Okay, other games. Uh, a Movie Time by Sega. Four, God of Thunder. Um, yeah. It's a bit like Green Lantern, this is it's easily forgettable. The 4 game on a DS, though, however, plays like a good classic type 16 bit almost platformer, almost. And that's much worth having. So if you see it's on a DS, definitely get that, but not this version unless you, like me, like to have loads of PS3 games. Okay, um, this is more of a better shooter compared to that other game I showed you earlier. This is Time Crisis. So don't, if you want to get a, um, a good shooter for a PS3, this is one of the ones to get, Time Crisis. This includes um, Time Crisis 4 and Dead Storm Pirates, so you get, you get about three games for the price of one there. Time Shift by Sierra. Um, I've got it more so because it's by Sierra Games. Um, again, you sort of um, manipulate time and um, to achieve your obje objectives, um, no, they've got around to playing it. Okay, um, there's quite a few Japanese games coming out to a PS3 since Sony have lowered the cost of the licensing for license. So we're getting lots of them out, and that's good. And this is one of them Tokyo Twilight Ghost Hunters. I believe I did talk about this in an earlier pickup video. This is one of the more interesting ones for me. There's tons of them coming out, but uh, that's one that I like a look of. Okay, Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider Underworld Limited Edition. Uh, includes extra discs and bits and bobs. Cards, I think. And there's Tomb Raider Trilogy, which includes Legend, Underworld, and also Anniversary, or HD Remastered. And then there's a Tomb Raider of uh, the latest new game. Um, they did update this again for PS4, and I believe they changed the art style of the, of the of the um, Lara Croft's face, so she looks a bit um, more mature, a bit more uh, less girl-like, I suppose, getting young. Um, 
so they're made a bit more tougher looking I suppose slightly they have they have changed their face a little bit again I'm not sure which is the best version to play the, the first Tomb Raider one or the most recent one okay some Tom Clancy games okay so still book edition of End War these are pretty fun um, Rainbow Six Vegas Rainbow Six Vegas 2, this comes in a steel book um, Ghost Recon Future Soldier okay. right, Hawks, or H-A-W-X, if that sounds for something else And Hawks 2. And then there's Tom Clancy's with a Splinter Cell trilogy. A couple of Tony Hawks games, uh, Proving Grounds and Shred. Now, I do have a copy of this Shred that comes with uh, the skateboard. Not that I've ever tried it, but I don't think it's going to be particularly very good, but um, we'll see. And then there's Total Non-Stop Action Wrestling. Um, this game goes for a bit of money, actually. You can also get this on the PS2, but the PS3 version is less common. Okay. Toy Story Mania. I guess I should technically technically had that under the D's for Disney, but um, it escaped. Got there. Uh, okay, a few Transformer games. The first one, based on the movie, is okay. And there's the Revenge of the Fallen, which comes with a special sleeve. And these ones are better with Transformer games. So you've got Transformers 4 Cybertron. And then War for Cybertron. Okay, a uncommon game. This is um, Trinity Souls of Zeal Ol. Yeah, you can see it the title of yourself. Yeah. Okay, and that's the game. It's a type of RPG, I think. Don't know too much about that one, but it's, a, not, it's an uncommon game. All right, classic um, Twisted Metal. Loads of carnage and fun. Turning Point 4 of Liberty is another alternative reality. Should, um, if you know the Nazis won World War II and everything else, what would happen? Not as good as what was it, Wolfenstein, or Wolfenstein games. And then there's Two Rock, a reboot. This is a still book edition. Uh, the reviews are rather poor, and that's uh, I think that's been the last two rock game we ever got. Okay, showing in the background this that's um, Valkyria Chronicles. Um, the art style is fantastic. It's almost like pencil shading, and uh, it's a Sega um, tactical. Uh, oh, sure. It's not so much an RPG. It's, I don't know. It's a, it's a bit of a combat game involving lots of tactics and strategy. Um, I think you can also get two, two on the PSP as well. Uh, I think the second one could be a Japanese exclusive, could be well known. But there are some other games. Uh, and then there is Sega's Vanquish. This game is probably a bit of a hidden gem actually. It's got lots of good reviews this has. Um, so certainly worth picking up. That's a, that one comes with a special sleeve. All right, this one is, I think it's pronounced Venetia or Venetica. I think it's probably Venetia. What do you think? How do you think that's pronounced? Um, you play as a female protagonist. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually an adventure, I suppose. Not, again, it's an uncommon game. Okay, this is Sega's uh, Vikings Battle for Asgard. 
was okay. Quite a cheap game to find. Sorry about that interruption, guys. I had a um, went out of memory on my memory card, so I had to um, transfer the video files onto a computer to free up some memory. So, anyway, let's finish off the uh, with these uh, Vin Diesel's uh, Wheel Man. Virtual Fighter 5, Virtual Tennis 2009, uh, the only reason why I've got these more than anything else is because it's got Andy Murray on. Uh, Sega, these Sega Tennis games are pretty good. Virtual Tennis 4, uh, UFC 2009 Undisputed. UFC 2010 undisputed. Um, that 2009 one wasn't too bad. I got into it a little bit. Okay, um, some classic uh, Uncharted games. Uh, the first one, Drake's Fortune, and Uncharted 2: Them to Edition is still book. Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception and that's a uh, Game of the Year edition that was and here's for limited edition still book of Uncharted 3 and then there's a nice classic shooter Under Defeat HD it's a top down crazy Japanese type shooter And then Train on the Telly is a, you know, a nice Japanese fighter. Under Night in Birth. Uh, yeah, the animation style and graphics are pretty good on this. Uh, then Untold Legends Dark Kingdom. And then W Wanted. Um, it's obviously based on the movie, but uh, you play a different character. And Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine. Also got the big Zetis box set of that. Okay, this game is multiplayer only and online. So again, it's for a collection of anything else, and that's Warhawk. Okay, um, this is a two part game Watchmen. The end is nigh, part one and two. Um, it's pretty basic really, it's a typical movie tie-in. Okay. Right, another Bethesda game, Wet. Um, it's okay. Where wild things are, the video game. Uh, I have no idea if this is any good or not. Um, I've yet to see a film. Obviously, I know a book, like most you know people were raised on a book as a kid. Uh, but I'm not too sure if the game's any good or not. Then it's the White Knight Chronicles, another sort of fantasy type RPG, and the White Knight Chronicles Two. Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein. Still yet to get the, the latest one on the PS3. Um, I'm surprised I've got a case for this one. WW Legends of Westlaw Mania. And WW Smackdown vs. War 2008. Again, another 2008 game. XCOM Enemy Unknown. Um, okay, this game is supposed to be quite good actually. Um, not the X Men games are mediocre, but this is one of the better one. X Men Wolverine um, Uncage Edition. Uh, the movie actually is quite good as well. <laughs> okay, um, some classic Yakuza 3. And Yakuza 4 
and the sort of spin off Yakuza Dead Souls. Um, basically, Yakuza with zombies. Okay, U uh, Star 2. And last but not least, this is a game that begins with Z. Any ideas? Yes, you probably guessed it. The Zone of Enders HD Collection. A classic Konami game by people who bought us Metal Gear Solid. Obviously, uh, the original games were on the PS2. Okay, guys, that concludes my standalone PS3 collection. I hope you've um, found it okay, you found it interesting. Um, I will at some point so show box sets when I've got more time to go through all the stuff in the game room, but it's just a massive job it is more than anything else really. So I'll probably do it at some point, maybe more likely next year I should think. Although I will do a, a, a little game room tour. Uh, also I just wanted to say I'm, I'm, I'm always astonished when people uh, have sort of, um, you know, sold up their PS3 collections when as you've seen, there's tons of you know great games in the library. So why get rid of your PS3 just because the PS4 or, or Xbox One's out? It just makes no sense to get rid of your PS3 if you ask me. When there's such good games, and they're all coming down so much in price. You know, a lot of games you saw today. Um, you know, you can get, either get them from you know a, a, a few, you know a pound in some cases from the car boots to uh, to I would say on the average. But most of these games you probably get for about under a tenner. I would have thought most of these games on average. Um, if not a lot cheaper. Uh, some games are a bit rare and a bit more unusual, but uh, on the whole, a lot of these games are you know inexpensive really. Um, some of the newer, the, some of the newer JRPG ones like this, you'll still pay a bit more. You probably pay about fifteen twenty pound for. But again, give give them time. A lot of these games will be uh, a bit cheaper, I reckon. Although like I said there are a few rarities. So anyway, uh, that's it, guys. That's the end of my um, PS3 standalone collection. I hope you enjoyed it, and if, if you haven't already, by all means, subscribe, leave comments, and thumbs up if, it, if that's okay. Take care. Bye.